I, Dr. Rita Pratap, former head of the department, drawing and painting, University of Rajasthan, Jaipur. I am going to speak on the history of Japanese art. Module 12, the Kamakura period dated 1,185 to 1,392. By the middle of the 12th century, two clans, the Taira and the Minamoto, had fought their way to supremacy. Minamoto established their capital at Kamakura, south of Tokyo. The development of the narrative scrolls, which reached its climax in the second half of the 13th century. The epic literature of this period, such as the Heki Monogatari or the Heki story, which describes the rise and fall of the Taira clan. A shrine was raised to the memory of Shugawara no Mishi Zain. Among the narrative scrolls are the sets illustrating the story Ben Dinagon or Tomo no Dinagon. The epic literature of this period is Heki Monogatari or Heki story. The scroll of 10 famous bulls is an enlarged detail from Kitano Tenjin NG series. The Henji Monogatari book describes the events of the winter of 1159 to 1160 in which the Taira temporarily crushed the Minamato. The Kamakura period. The development of the narrative scrolls which reached its climax in the second half of the 13th century is a striking instance of the way in which art may reflect events in the political and social spheres. During the 12th century, the Fujiwara court and nobility had withdrawn further and further into the fairy tale world so vividly depicted in the Genji scrolls. Meanwhile, beyond the walls of the palaces, powerful disruptive forces were at work. As the Fujiwara power declined, so did that of the feudal chieftains in the provinces increase. The Fujiwara sought to bribe them into submission with grants of land, but these merely increased their power and intensified the struggle between rival families. By the middle of the 12th century, two clans, the Taira and the Minamoto, had fought their way to supremacy. Now they turned on each other and for 30 years the land was ravaged by civil war of unparalleled ferocity. Kyoto was laid waste, the great Todaiji at Nara was destroyed and the countryside was devastated by marauding armies. By 1185 the Minamato after many reverses, emerged triumphant over the Taira. They established their capital at Kamakura, south of Tokyo, as far removed as possible from the enervating influence of the Fujiwara court. The Shogun, literally barbarian subduing general, Minamoto no Yoritomo, organized his followers into a highly disciplined administration known as the Bakufu or military headquarters.
many able men denied advancement in the stifling atmosphere of Kyoto came to join him at Kamakura. The officer class of a samurai, literally those who serve, formed a new elite who kept themselves rigidly apart both from the masses and from the court aristocracy, whom they despised upholding a Spartan ideal of personal loyalty and self-discipline. The epic literature of this period, such as the Heike Mono Gaitari or Heike story, which describes the rise and fall of the Taira clan, is full of Homeric feats of courage, endurance and loyalty. It is of little account to its admirers that the loyalty was often blind or inspired by greed and the bravery tarnished by the most revolving cruelty. It is a remarkable fact that the Tyra Wars and above all the atrocities committed in the course of them have inspired Japanese artists to some of their most brilliant performances. The narrative scrolls. Not all the narrative scrolls deal with events in the Tyra Wars. However, one of the earliest sets illustrates the story of Ban Dainagon or Tomo no Dainagon, the 9th century great counselor who in order to implicate his rival Minamoto Nobu. Sets fire to the imperial gate and then blames Minamoto. Eventually the truth is discovered and Tomo is banished. The three scrolls now in Sakai Todahiro collection Tokyo were painted in the second half of the 12th century. They depict the fire at the gate, the panic within and the confusion in the street outside. Their realism is tempered by a very delicate sense of line and color that makes them the most beautiful of all the war scrolls. Story of the Henji in Sakrashin The burning of the Senjo Palace Mid-13th century, Heji Mono Gatari shows detail from the first of the Heji Mono Gatari scrolls, now in the Museum of Fine Arts, Boston. The novel describes the marshalling of the forces of Taira and Minamato and tells how a petty triant, the court noble Fujiwara no Nobu Yori sacked the palace of the retired emperor before turning to destroy his rival, the minister Shenze. The text written on the Boston painting relates how Nobu Yori bustled the ex-emperor off to safety for his person was sacked. Then he gave the order and soldiers blocked the palace on all four sides and set fire to it. Those who fled out, they shot or hacked to death. Many jumped into the wells, hoping that they might save themselves. The ladies in waiting of high and low rank and the girls of the women quarters running out screaming and shouting, fell and lay prostrate, stepped on by the horses and trampled by the men. It was more than terrible. No one knows the number of persons who lost their lives.
The fearful spectacle is brought so vividly before our eyes that we seem to hear the crackle of the fire, the thunder of hoofs, the currents of the panic-stricken woman. With consummate mastery, the painter has created out of the swirling flames and smoke a visual beauty that transcends the horrors of the scene itself. In the complexity of its design, the richness of its color and texture and the variation of its rhythm and tempo. This scroll has been aptly compared to a movement from a dramatic symphony. A great fire in the imperial palace, moreover, in 1176 may have recalled the events of the 9th century so that the illustration of these scrolls was linked up with the curious destiny of Ban Dian De Dianagon. Ban Dianagon. The story of Ban Dianagon E. Kotaba attributed to Tokiwa Mitsunaga, excited crowd watching a fire at the imperial palace, seen from the first scroll, second half of the 12th century. It is a hand scroll, colors on paper, and at present in the Sakai Tada Hero Collection, Tokyo. Particularly striking in these scenes is the dynamic sequence of compositions following one another uninterruptedly, following one another uninterruptedly, with the opening scroll showing mounted policemen Kibishi riding at the gallop. One is caught up in the urgency of the matter at hand. A mounted nobleman and his retinue, together with the officials and monks, are rushing pell-mell to the left, pouring through one of the outer gates, Sujaku Mon, of the Imperial Palace. The crowd pulls up, short, jostling and elbowing one another as they recoil from the heat of the fire which is fast on consuming the main gate, Oten Mon. On the other side, further to the left, courtiers are looking on with alarm and dismay. All these scenes unfold without a break, forming a continuous composition over 20 feet long. 227 figures take part in it, are treated with a more delicate brush than those in Shishi-san strolls. The facial expressions and gestures of each figure are tellingly individualized. Ink outlines admirably sharp and supple delineate forms with a rhythm and sense of movements that are heightened by the vivid colors of costumes, trappings and flaming buildings. The genius of the artist is well displayed in the famous scenes of the second scroll, the quarrel of the children, in which the different phases of the incident develop in a circular movement, symbolizing the unexpected outcome of the quarrel. From the slaughter of the war scrolls, we turn to those that depict other calamities real and imaginary, that beset the masses in those turbulent years. The mixture of satire and compassion that we often find in Japanese Buddhist art comes out clearly in a series of scrolls illustrating the afflictions of body and mind to which mankind is subject. These, the scrolls of diseases, were painted about the year 1200 by an anonymous painter. The title of the painting is The Man with Loose Teeth. This painting at present is in the Sikido collection. 
the painting illustrated in swiftly sketched ink line and light wash a wide variety of human ailments from a hereditary black nose to hallucinations they are remarkable not so much for the style which though lively is relatively undistinguished as for the insight they show into the lives of the poor classes a subject not touched on in the classical and aristocratic scrolls of the period they show too how closely buddhist art in that age of anxiety reflected the fears and sufferings of the common people though the manner in which their afflictions are portrayed often verges on caricatures closely allied to these scrolls though far more gruesome in content are those depicting the buddhist hells and the realm of hungry ghosts two of the six worlds into which according to buddhist belief sentient beings may be reborn and from which only rebirth in the western paradise can release them Five scrolls of the series survive, of which three are originals of the late 12th century. The remaining two are copies. The most remarkable are those formerly in the Hara collection and now in the care of the Commission for the Protection of Cultural Properties, Tokyo. Painted with the purpose of frightening simple believers, into the straight and narrow path these depict the fearful torments that await the sinner in the next world the lurid horrors of hell are realized by means of a dramatic contrast between the murky atmosphere and the rich glowing color of the figures of demon and victims most striking of all is the hell scrolls that is the giant cock dated late 12th century colors on paper and in the collection of commission for protection of cultural properties tokyo the giant cock who tears to pieces those guilty of cruelty to others his feathers ended in flames and from his beak there darts a tongue of fire the grandeur and awesomeness of the theme inspired the artist of these hell scrolls to one of the most extraordinary feats in the history of japanese painting in these and other scrolls fire whether it be the eternal fires of hell or those lit by the minamato nc diaries in the streets of kyoto seems to be a symbol of the state of japan in the 12th and 13th centuries it is a relief to turn from such horrors to a great scroll series of the 13th century the kitano tenjin ng imeki literally scroll illustrating the story of heavenly being of kitano it tells the story of sugawara no michigan the scholar and imperial advisor mentioned at the beginning of this chapter who was exiled to kyushu in the instigation of the jealous Fujiwara he died in his lonely post but thereafter calamities fell upon the court and he was posthumously reinstated and promoted in order that his spirit might be appeased a shrine was raised to his memory 
in the Kitano district of Kyoto. The cult of Saint Mishizen was very popular during the Kamakura period. Ten ancient scrolls illustrating his story exist. Of these, the oldest and finest still preserved at the Kitano Shrine, painted by anonymous painter Mishizane's ghost set fire to the gateway, dates from 1219 or shortly after. It relates his political career, his banishment, the later wanderings of his prophet, priest Mishio in the six realms of transmigration, the founding of Mishishen's shrine and the miracles performed there. Anonymous Mishishen in exile from Kitano Tenji Enji hand scroll detail Kitano shrine ink and color on paper and painted about 1219 and it is in the collection of Kyoto, Japan. This scroll shows a detail in which the exiled minister is contemplating a robe that has been sent to him by the emperor. The scrolls as a whole show a remarkable balance of dramatic storytelling and pageantry. Realism and abstract decoration. The faces are those of real men. Many details are taken straight from nature and the life of the streets. Yet this realism is blended with brilliant decorative use of architecture, landscape and the dark ascents provided by carts, weapons or bulls that weld each scroll into a complete pictorial unity. Black bull painted by an anonymous painter from the hand scroll of 10 famous bulls dated to 1300 ink and color on paper and at present in the Seattle Washington Art Museum. It illustrates a painting of a black bull that might be an enlarged detail from the Kietano Tenjin NG series but is in fact one of the three remaining sections from a scroll of ten famous bulls painted about 1300. The two other surviving fragments are in the Cleveland and Tokyo museums. The artist has concentrated throughout on essentials. The bulls are shown in Silhout, the massive bulk suggested by ample contours and subtle negative shading. Their vitality by delicacy of line and the startled expression in their eyes, the contained and disciplined power of their forms is a vivid expression of the aesthetic ideals of the Kamakura period. The realism and objectivity characteristic of the 13th century painting are still paramount at the end of the century. In 1299, a set of scroll narrating the pilgrim's life of the monk, Ipan, 1239 to 1289. After studying the doctrines of the Tendai, 
and Jodo sects and mediating on them solitude for many years. Eichmann developed the theory of self-sacrifice in the charity of Amida, founded the Jishu sect and spent the rest of his life traveling through the length and breadth of Japan, converting over two and a half million people. Shortly after his death, the story of his life was written by Shokai, his favorite disciple who had faithfully accompanied him in all his wanderings. The painter and I, who no doubt was also a fellow pilgrim of the great monk, illustrated his life in 48 scenes mounted in 12 scrolls. The work is executed on silk. As the scrolls are unrolled, one seems to be following the itinerary at Ipen's side in the small company of his favorite disciples, visiting his famous places and leading temples in each province. And leading temples in each province. So closely do the landscapes and buildings represented resemble those still in existence today that one is forced to conclude that N.I. drew these scenes on the spot in the course of his pilgrimage and based his work on these drawings. This procedure gives his painting an unusual style and flavor, faithfully reflecting the varied aspects of Japan, natural scenery from region to region and season to season. At the same time, he draws a complete picture of the age, nobles and warriors, tradesmen and peasants and even beggars and vagabonds are recorded by the artist with such detail that these scrolls hold the mirror up to Japanese society of the Middle Ages. An example is of the hand scroll of the life of the monk Ipen, Ipen Shonen Eden, painted by N.I. Winter pilgrimage in the northern province seen from the 8th scroll dated to 1299. Colors on silk. Kankiko Ji, Kyoto. This is a winter landscape in Mutsu province seen under a light fall of snow. In the scroll, Aipan is shown journey through the northern Japan beginning with a spring scene of cherry blossom in the hill country and ending with this bleak snowscape. White hills and ice-bound river, clumps of frozen reeds, all this vividly conveys the nip of cold, clear air in the dead of winter. The expressive lyricism enables us to share the moods and mentality of the figures represented. From the various examples already reproduced here show that the scroll paintings e make a 12th to 14th century form one of the richest sections of Japanese art. Over 100 different sets of scroll paintings have been found which should be classified under the following headings in accordance with subject matter, technique, and the purpose they served. First, the secular scroll of pure and artistic character.
that is the illustrations of novels. These illustrations conditioned by aristocratic tastes were produced throughout the Kamakura period. The illustration of such works as Murashakishi, Shikubu, Niki, Diary of the Lady in Waiting, Murashaki, Shikubu, author of the tale of Genji, and Makura no Shoshi, the pillow book, a collection of essays, present the same characteristics. Tales and historical narratives. This type of work exemplified by the Shishigan Angi and Ban Bayanagon Ikotoba enlarges on the subject. while reflecting the popular life of the time. For example, the Ishi no S scroll, the story of a painter in the imperial correction, narrates with bitter irony the life of a court painter whose social position is made increasingly precarious by using power of the military. Illustrations of Poetry Poetry competitions, Uta Awase, and portraits of famous poets, Kasen A, were always highly appreciated in the aristocratic circles. But from the 14th century on, the ancient and modern court poets were often replaced by parodial figures of tradesmen and artisans in several versions of Shokunin Uttavasa poetry competitions between different crafts. Poetry competition between the different crafts. Illustration of military novels. Military novels are genuinely literary creation of the 13th century gave rise to several illuminated scrolls on epic themes like the Hegi Mono Gotel, secular scrolls serving a practical purpose, usually documentary. At the court, Ceremonial scenes and portraits of emperors and ministers were often painted in the new technique, Nisse A, which gave a life-like portrayal of the features of each personage. Military men, moreover, had paintings made for their exploits in this or that battle, either to commemorate them in their own home or to present to their leaders as a token of their powers. For example, two scrolls entitled Moko Shurai Eko Toba, Inventions of the Mongols, now in the imperial collection, were executed about 1293 to the order of Take Zaki Sue Naga. a warrior of the Higo province, Kyushu, to commemorate his bravery during two Mongol attacks on northern Kyushu in 1274 and 1281. Edifying scrolls of a religious nature.
the illustration of sutras and doctrinal commentaries like the hell scrolls, the NG, origins and miracles of the temple and lives of great monks, patriarchs and founders of the sect came in time to be abundantly illustrated. The Honan Shonan Eden illustrated life of Honan. of the Chion in temple depicts the life of the founders dated to 1133 to 1212 in a series of no less than 48 scrolls each of which on average measures 30 feet in length. Another extensive series is the Kasuka Gogan Kinki, Miracles of the Shinto deities of Kasuga. Running to 20 scrolls now in the Imperial Collection Fujiwara Kinhira Ministry of the Left commissioned the work from Takashina Takakane, head of the court at Alaya and presented it in 1309 to the shrine of Kasuga at Nara, patrons of his family. It is the painstaking work of a master painter who in these 20 scrolls has achieved a synthesis of the various traditional techniques practiced by the court painters. The creative power of the art of scroll painting declined from the 14th century. Now we talk about the Kamakura portraiture. We find an even more perfect expression of Kamakura ideals in the portrait of the great militarist Minamato no Yoritomo. This is the work of Fujiwara Takanobu dated 1142 to 1205, director of the right ward of the capital who is recorded as having been renowned as a portrait painter. It is one of the five known portraits of the ex-emperor Go Shirakawa and his associates, painted by Fujiwara Takanobu for an imperial villa erected in 1188. They are preserved today in Jingoji, Kyoto. The purpose of the portrait of Minamato was not merely to embody the ideals of the samurai class, but also to create the living presence of the man himself. so that after death he could continue to give inspiration and strength to his followers. Thus, in this picture, the iron discipline exercised by Minamoto over his own fiery temper is perfectly matched by the painter's power to control the angular silhouette and the dramatic contrasts of line and tone. The technique is sharp and fine drawn as the blade of a samurai sword. In the eyes of the Kamakura aristocracy, realism in portraiture was properly confined to depicting monks and lower classes. Many aristocrats must have been shocked by the Fujiwara Takanobu's portraits, which were a revolutionary departure from the idealized heroes of the past to which they were accustomed. There is a strong romantic streak in the Japanese temperament that colors its religious outlook. It has already been seen in Fujiwara renderings of Shakyamuni and the Amida Raigo. Now it appears again in the lovely portrait of the great founder of the Shingon sect, 
Kobo Dashi as a child, painted in late 13th century, and Maruyama. According to legend, the boy had a dream in which he saw himself seated on an eight-petaled lotus discussing Buddhist doctrine with various deities. The artist has represented him as a vision of touching beauty, wisdom and innocence. Every detail of his hair, hands and flower dress is delineated with loving care and precision. With the aid of gold and silver paint, the sentiment that this painting evokes is typical of Fujiwara religious romanticism. But the technique, the emphasis on the silhouette, the angular forms of the robes and the striking treatment of the jet black hair all show how closely it is related in a style to the portrait of Minamato no Yoritomo. It can hardly have been painted much before the end of the 13th century.